So thank you very much for coming and not leaving. That means that whatever you want. OK, this is a turbo talk. It's not going to be a one hour long presentation. I think someone screwed up in the schedule. Uh, I didn't receive a check, so it is what it is. Uh, first of all, there is no agenda in this presentation, no crap about we are going to see this and stuff like that. Uh, no son what to art award stuff in this presentation either. Uh, I'm trying to make this campaign of no more free art of war stuff in security presentations. It applies to everything, so come on, give us a break. No more free campaigns. See the dollar sign at the end. Uh, I know that we have to pay bills, but come on, man. Give stuff for free, all right? No history of web scanners and no drama, but uh, I think we have saw a little bit in the beginning of the presentation, so. <laughs> I'm sorry for that, it's not my fault. My name, Efraín Torres, kind of 10 years enjoying IT security. I'm not going to say that I'm a pro, I think that's too high. I'm a proud member of the Metasploit team. This is my address, and I'm a proud member también of the uh, country of Colombia. So, how many Colombians are here? All right, one, two, three, and that's it. All right, man, thank you very much. By the way, please visit Colombia. Don't throw CNN. Go there. <laughs> I'm evidence that if you go there, you will not be kidnapped. Well, <laughs> not for now. All right. Thank you. All right, let's keep going. OK, the intro. This thing is about a web assessment as Metasploit modules. Uh, we are going to run the modules by hand or automated. Still on early stages, play me to the crisis. I have to work. I have to work a lot, so my free time is getting uh, smaller. And uh, HD Moore in Metasploit in the conference sector in 2008, he said that, well, expect a big announcement soon. This is it. <laughs> yeah. I'm getting a hold of this. I was my. I was like shaking. Now I'm shaking less. All right. So why I did WMAP? First of all, I struggle with the damn tools that you see nowadays. Uh, let's say that uh, I hate the commercial tools. Sorry, the guys, if you are from WebInspect or one of those. Sorry, I don't like it. First of all, you are finding vulnerabilities while browsing an application. That's an easy way to get detected and make mistakes. I prefer just to crawl as a normal user, then wait for a couple of days, then just attack. OK? And then I can have my, my data and keep playing with it, and I don't have to deal with all the bullshit with the graphical user interface. Sorry for the word, but it is what it is. Right? I, I also hate that it can only be run on Windows. I needed something that I can run everywhere. And uh, I don't want to be tied to a specific browser, also specifically to the Internet Explorer control. Uh, sometimes uh, you have to check some websites that have like bad, uh, malware, and uh, well, if you use one of those tools, you will get owned, and it hurts. <laughs> Second motivation: too much focus on whistles and bells. No more bullshit regarding vulnerability classification and hard-coded risk. I'm tired of seeing that an issue is high, an issue is low. An issue is uh, medium. What the fuck? What that means, man? <laughs> what the hell, man? And then you go to the client, and the client say, "Well, what is a low?" And then you are like, "Well, low is uh, low is low, right?" <laughs> but the truth is that when sometimes a high is just a low, and a couple of lows can get you high. <laughs> What is the real impact? That's why we are playing with Metasploit. This is just a plugin, so we can jump from the testing part directly to the exploitation methods, okay? How everything is working today? So I say, like, let's do something really cool. That's the damn graphic that I make. <laughs> so when you play with these tools, with the, with the commercial tools, well, I like the commercial tools. It's just that I see that they can do better, okay? Now. It's like playing with lemmings. You just see the damn packets or all the requests just being gone through it, and they just fall, and nothing happens. I cannot 
feed, take those results and feed them back to the engine. It's a pain in the back. <laughs> the proxy is kind of like on the side. It's like a, it's like the ugly child of the family, you know. <laughs> it's one of additional toe. <laughs> and they say oh, it is free, so yes, you can use it sometimes. But what is the good way to do it? Well, let's go back to basics. The proxy, the man in the middle proxy. There are tons of proxies out there. Fiddler, Barb, Paros, etc. man. It's awesome, awesome, awesome tools that actually does a much, much better job than the one above, okay? Okay, what is the objective of WMAP? Being a simple tool, command line based, a way to testing methods with exploitation methods. Uh, you can use it as a scanner, but it's just uh, an extension of the Metasploit framework. And uh, again, something easy to extend and modify. I didn't like the APIs to adjust or add new extensions to some of the frameworks out there, so it takes forever to build something. I, we just need something easy, okay? Actually, we have to do a campaign like no more difficult tools or no more complex tools. Let's go back to basics, dudes. Right? Note, no more web assessment, uh, no more, the more web assessment tools, the better. Uh, for example, W3AF is awesome. That's Andres Viancho's, is, if he's over there, or the people that contributes. Thank you very much. Uh, SQL map is awesome. Bernardo Damales, if he's over there, or some people over that work in the project is around here. Thank you again, too. And uh, each tool has its own limitations. Choose the damn tool you like. It's just a tool. A poor worksman playing his tools. I don't know who said that, but I just copy and paste. <laughs> By the way, I left a blank field in the bottom, so you can write there whatever you use. Okay, I'm not saying that WMAP is the shit, okay? We are just starting, and even if I finish with WMAP, still th there are two good tools out there. So just put whatever you want there. What is the design? The design is awesome. What I did is just decouple everything, just separating every single thing that is out there. So I, I can have multiple spiders or clients or devices that connect to the proxy the proxy just going to store every single request in through the Metasploit database. And then from the Metasploit database, WMAP, that is the plugin, will take that information, it will create a tree of the website, and will start launching all the auxiliary modules one by one in the order that makes sense. That's it. Actually, that's the way that the other tools does, but this is simple. So why do we have to pay for that much? Okay, and then we just launch the test to the target and we can take the results because we own those results and we can do whatever they want, like uh, put it again into the database or if you have something additional to do, just throw it through the proxy and then you can test it again. Easy. The proxy, the proxy only stores requests in the database. Uh, initially, when I started WMAP, uh, I did a small plugin for Fiddler. Fiddler is made by Eric Lawrence from Microsoft. Uh, I haven't released the plugin because it's ugly, so still needs some improvement on the GUI because it's Windows. Patch for um, the the patch that I use right now is a patch for a rat, pro rat proxy from Elkantov, and. Um, also, thank you to SpinBat that has made some additional plugins for a Borp proxy, okay? But if you have anything that can take you, the requests and store it in the database, do it, man. This is the ex 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 schema that uh, you can use to store everything. It's very simple, the host, the port, what else? just that I don't see very well over there, around here. That's why I use glasses, so I have to check this. Okay, so we have the path, we have the headers, the query, the body, the response, the response, the response header, uh, the response code, and the actual response uh, when it was created. That's it. If you can put it in that format, you are good to go. 
Well, this is a small list of the auxiliary models that are uh, located right now in the Metasploit framework. Um, again, like I told you earlier, this is on early stages. But if you see it, the plugins that are here, the, the modules, um, they have the basic functionality that you need to have like a, a good understanding of your target. And also, um, you can use them, modify it a little bit, and create new tests without any problem. So please go to this directory, take one module, just check it out. It's very simple to understand. And all thanks to HD, OK? It's not me. I'm just reusing his, his, his work. Let's start with some explanation with the um, with some type of the modules because I think the most important parts are the actual modules, not the actual plugin. The plugin just again just runs all all, all of them um, on a certain order, and this is just one basic example on how to run uh, a, a specific WMAP module. Just use it as any other module on the framework. You set the specific variables for the module. The target, remember that uh, each module can be used uh, as a scanner, so you can put uh, a range over there. And uh, we define the port. In this case, we are going to use the WMAP SSL module, so I'm going to say that we are going to use SSL. And let's run it. In this specific example, uh, just worth to mention that I use, uh, what it does is going to query a bunch of uh, certificates and it's just going to show me the information from them. And it's a very good way to see the, the virtual hosts. So if you have a bunch of IP addresses that usually happen on the pen test, and you find those weird websites when you say, OK, the web page doesn't show what is the virtual host, this, this is a good plugin to use, OK? A good module. Uh, the other thing is for this example, I use, well, here it says that I, that is like the XYC, um, demco.com company, but in reality is one of those banks in America. So what I did is just I run it through a couple of um, IP addresses and just check the information that it, that it returns. It returns stuff like they're running uh, JBoss and WebSphere. So it's good, good information to have. Additional stuff for information gathering. In this case, uh, I'm going to show you some uh, uh, the way that the that another module uh, works, that is the way that we detect uh, directories on a web server. Usually what happens is that the tools that you have out there, they only check for the return code. That sucks, man, because sometimes no nowadays they have their own error pages. Well, thank you to HD and my work, we were able to create a small module that has uh, signatures to check the error page. So if it returns whatever code it is, uh, it will really detect if a directory exists, exists or not. The second important part of WMAP is the data storage and reporting. Uh, I think the most important part is that with the data, um, we, are, we were used to only work with the data on the way that the developers were supposed to to uh, give us access to. In this case, you can store anything you want, in, uh, put any name on it. That means that if in the future there is someone that uh, devises a new uh, attack technique or a new vulnerability and it requires a, a specific cool name, then you can put it over there and uh, have that information stored on a tree that you can later reuse for analysis. Uh, like for example, let's check a little bit about this code. The only thing that it has to do is is, is going to find the report on the on the first part. It's going to find the report ID. It is based on the host, on the port number, and if it uses SSL or not. And then when, with that report ID, you will be storing all the information that you want uh, on the format that you see it displayed. It's basically a type, description, that's it. Let's talk now about the WMAP plugin. Um, but basically what it does, it identifies possible targets from the database that, that all the requests are stored. Uh, we build a target website with that structure, 
and uh, we run the models uh, in a specific order. Reporting, we already talked about it. Um, and um, if you see in the bottom of the presentation, that's the initial command to run WMAP. Uh, one thing, if we don't have time to run the demo, then the only thing that you have to do is to load the DB WMAP, and then you just say WMAP target to select, and WMAP run, and that's it. Okay? There is no thing to select what plugins do you want to use. You can do it on, on, in other different ways, but it's very easy to use. That's what I wanted to do. So how WMAP works? Basically, we have a specific mixing where you can define uh, specific types of modules. So we have this type of uh, modules, and what it does is I take the module, I put the type, WMAP detects uh, what is the type, and it will launch it at the right time. For example, the first thing that it will do when I run something is that it will run every single module that is defined as a WMAP scan server. Okay? Then it will try to scan every single module, it will run every single module that is for files or directories. Actually, they run kind of at, uh, uh, at the same time then modules that require to execute at every single query. And you see that I have something different that is called unique query because what it does is it will create a signature of the query, like you have a get request or a post request, and I don't want to run it every time only because the values changes. I only need to run it just because I see the same parameters all over again. So I can do that just with the WMAP scan unique query. Then also I have a, uh, something to scan the body or to run or to work with the body of the request, the headers, and something called generic that is always run at the end. So this is where we can analyze the, all the information that we have been retrieved, take that information and put it back into the database or fill it back through the proxy. Okay, one basic example is the WMAT generic email extract. This is the only type of, of modules on the framework that you cannot run it interactively or through the command line because the only input that it takes is the database. And this is just extracts all the emails, the, all the email addresses, so you can take it and run and use some social engineering with the emailer and um, using the tools that uh, Jabra has uh, helped me de develop uh, for, the, for the framework. Okay, so how to build a WMAP module? Just take a Metasploit module. It doesn't have to be an auxiliary module, it can be any module, not only HTTP. Just include the, the mixing type, and that's it. So if you see there, you just put the type that you need, take this, and run it. Easy, right? Okay, what is the demo? We only have five minutes, okay? So what I did is I took a specific IP address on the internet and I did a small video. But I think you guys re deserve respect, so I did something like really a website on the internet, not something that I crafted here because that's kind of cheesy. And let's see how it goes. <laughs> Where is the full screen? There it goes. All right. So what, is, what we're doing right now, we are loading the, the plugin. We connect to the database. I'm showing the commands that, we, that it has available. We're going to take the, we're going to define the targets. So the first thing is we are going to reload, uh, reload them from the database. That's it, only one. Sorry for the guy from the IP. I'm only browsing his web page, okay? So no attacks were performed. And the thing is then I, I just print the available targets. And I'm going to select the, f the first one. Actually, I selected first before printing, but it works the same. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to set the variables 
that usually are required by the modules. Again, by the modules, not by the, uh, by the WMAP plugins. So these are the uh, modules that are available. You can enable and disable them through a profile too. So check the documentation of the WMAP. And now what I'm going to do is I'm looking at the website structure. This is the most important part. If you guys do a web app assessments, you will see that the structure is, is where the, the gold is always. Then again, uh, like I said, you set different variables. In this case, I'm setting the extension of, um, th that I need to play with. Then at that time, I receive a call from my wife, and then I have to stop a little bit. I, I kept going. <laughs> By the way, I'm gonna be a dad, so thank you very much. I said the, vir the virtual host, that's all the other cool thing. Some of the tools don't allow you to play with the virtual host, so you have a lot of range here to play with. Now I'm checking the domain for some of the plugins that, for example, perform some brute forcing to identify additional virtual hosts. Then I receive another call from my wife. Two yeah. And there it goes. Now I'm going to type WMAP run and the help. <laughs> Come on, man. And there it goes. All right. And then the module stopped, and there it goes. So basically, it's going to start is running all the crap. That's it. <laughs> it's easy, simple. That's it, man. We are not frying, not, not frying brains here, okay? That's I think what that's what the type of tools that we require. And I'm going to stop the demo here, okay? Because the time is over. So thank you very much, man. <laughs>